So one of the best ways to gain creative control in our imagery is through shutter speed. Um, shutter speed is what allows us to kind of show motion or the lack of motion in still photography. And again, to reiterate, shutter speed is the amount of time that the shutter is open when exposing the sensor. So we got a great shot here that kind of demonstrates how different shutter speeds affect our images. Uh, we got a fountain shot um, with water falling down. The water's moving fairly quickly, actually. Um, and we're going to shoot at a couple different shutter speeds that are going to illustrate exactly how um, that makes our images look. The first shot we're going to shoot here is at a thousandth of a second, so pretty quick. And you can see how it freezes those droplets of water pretty solidly. You know, it gives us some, some kind of some jagged texture. It gives a very different, a sharp look to the water. Now we're going to shoot a shot here at a 250th of a second. And you'll start to see a little bit of blur in the water here. Uh, you can see those drops of water are just starting to get a little bit longer, um, a little bit more, uh, more prolonged. It's, giving, it's starting to give that feel of motion to the water. Now we're going to go ahead and stop this down and shoot it at a 50th of a second. Okay, and you see we're even starting to get longer streaks of water. Now they're actually starting to blend into actual streaks of water instead of just elongated, you know, blips or dots of water. So now we're actually going to do a five second exposure here. And you can see those streaks of water are, are now just silky ribbons of water. So from a thousandth to a two fiftieth to a fiftieth to five seconds, we can see how dramatically that shutter speed changes our images. And by understanding shutter speed, it will give you better creative control. Another way shutter speed relates to how we're shooting is, is, is it fast enough for us to shoot a sharp shot hand sh handheld? So when we're hand holding our camera, once the shutter speed gets below a certain number, it's going to be difficult to hold it still long enough for us to have a clear, sharp image. So generally speaking, what you want to do is take the focal length of your lens. Right now we're shooting at a 70, with a 70 to 200. I'm shooting at 200 millimeters. I'm going to put a 1 over that 200, and that's really the slowest shutter speed that I should try and hand hold this lens at. So a 1 200th of a second is the slowest shutter speed. If I were shooting with a 50 millimeter lens, put a 1 over that 50. A 50th of a second is really the slowest shutter speed that I want to use when hand holding that lens. So what shutter speeds pertain to different shooting activities? You know, it's important to understand when you need to be shooting fast shutter speeds and when shutter speed maybe doesn't matter that much. If you're shooting fast action, if you're shooting skiing, mountain biking, even running, these are activities where people or the subject is moving across the frame. If you're shooting traffic or horses or anything like that, generally speaking, to freeze fast action, you want to be shooting at a thousandth of a second. You know especially if it's moving across the focal plane, if it's moving across your body. If you think about it, that subject is moving across, you need to stop that action much quicker. So a thousandth of a second. If the subject is moving towards you, if you think about it, it's not as, qu it's not as quick of a motion. So a five hundredth of a second, you can even get down you know, a little bit slower than that, but if the, if the subject is moving towards or away from you, you know, a five hundredth of a second is going to be adequate. In landscapes, most of the time shutter speed doesn't matter. You're more concerned about aperture. However, sometimes when you're shooting landscapes and you might have a, a breeze and you're shooting wildflowers or grasses, you need to pay attention to your LCD display and see if you're shooting too slow of a shutter speed and, you, and those grasses are blurring when you don't want them to. Generally speaking, a 30th of a second, you know, somewhere around there, you're still going to be able to freeze those grasses, freeze those wildflowers. Um, but it's important to pay attention when you're shooting scenics, if you need to freeze any, any action with the wind, uh, to pay attention to that shutter speed. So get out there and experiment with your shutter speed. You know, shoot stuff standard, you know, freeze action, shoot stuff as it should be shot, you know, the standard image. Get out there and get a little bit more creative with your shutter speed. You might want to slow it down. You might want to blur water. You might even want to blur grasses or flowers or people for that matter. Once you start to understand shutter speed and how it gives you creative control over your images, you'll start to be able to produce more meaningful and memorable imagery on a regular basis.